First edition of Crusade in Europe by Dwight D. Eisenhower. I'm Adam Douglas, Senior Specialist in Books at Peter Harrington, and I'd like to show you this special copy. Uh, as you can see, it's not a standard publisher's binding. This is, in fact, a presentation binding uh, done in red goatskin. Um, and here we have on the front this motif of the, uh, the flaming sword of truth or something that <laughs> uh, Eisenhower felt that he wielded uh, as the leader of the Allied troops in the Second World War. Um, the book is itself a first edition. Um, we can see the title page. And uh, it's pretty simple. There's books of this date often are. It gives you the publisher here, Doubleday and Company, 1948. And over the page, we see first edition over here. Um, but this copy is rather special because it is in the special binding and it is inscribed by the author here on the limitation page for the Prime Minister of Great Britain and Mrs. Attlee, so that was Clement Attlee, who was Prime Minister at the time, with best wishes for a happy holiday season and a prosperous new year from your friends, Mamie D. and Dwight D. Eisenhower, December 1948. And above this inscription, we can see the rather unusual limitation on the book. We can see that the statement is that this edition is limited to 1,426 numbered and signed copies. So they're all numbered and signed. Uh, out of, of which 1,401 are for sale, and this is number 31. Now you might think that with this rather odd number, that 26 copies perhaps, or, or 25 if there was one over for sale, 25 were originally intended for presentation, but this is copy number 31. And we happen to know from the binder's own statement that he's, his proudest moment in his career was receiving the order to bind 35 copies in this special red leather binding. So uh, that is how we know what the limitation of the uh, presentation copies were. And on the opposite page, uh, this is where the book was usually signed um, by Eisenhower. He signed the bottom of this facsimile of the D-Day, Order of the Day, which he sent out um, in 1944, soldiers, sailors, and airmen of the Allied Expeditionary Force. And that's the, uh, the facsimile of his orders that day, but signed to make it a signed limited edition. It's a wonderful memento, a very handsome volume. Uh, for more details on this book and other works of this era, please visit our website.